In this video, we're going to add both logs and well tops to our well section. This can be easily done in Petrel. Here we have a well section displayed with only the depth track. The template of a well section shows you what is being displayed. The easiest way to bring up the template is this icon right here. You click it, the template comes up. It shows we only have an index track, nothing else here. To add well logs, the easiest way to do it is to open the wells folder, expand the global well logs folder and any subfolders, and click on the logs that you want displayed. Here we're going to display a gamma and a permeability log. You can see here in the index that we now have a gamma track with a gamma log and a perm track with the perm log inside it. The track name is automatically named after whatever the logs are that are inside it. To add another log to a track that already exists, you can right click on that log, click add to global template. In this case, we're only going to do vertical templates and then pick which one of the tracks to add it to. We're going to add it to the gamma track. So now we can see that porosity and gamma are both in the same track permeability is in this track. Over here in the template, we now have a gamma porosity track with a gamma log and a porosity log. Petrel, in each one of the wells that are in a well section, for each one of the logs, puts the minimum and maximum value of the log in that well with a little padding. So here for gamma, 7.35 to 168.36. Here for gamma, 18.02 up to 169.67. In order to compare like numbers, we need to make sure that the logs go from the same minimum to the same maximum in all the wells in the template. One way to do this, again, for the gamma log, for example, we can double click on the gamma log, bring up its settings, Look at the statistics. It goes from about 20 to about 160. We can close this window. Now come up here to the template, click on the gamma log. Over here on the right side, it changes. We can come to the limits tab. We want to give it a little padding also. So let's go from zero to 170. Then when we hit the apply, now the gamma log in all of the wells is set to the same value. Another way of doing this, and I'm going to close the template to a minute to show you, is to bring up the inspector. We can get into select pick mode, click on one of the logs here. Here we clicked on the porosity log. Now we can again bring up the statistics for porosity, see that the values go from zero to about 0.33. So for our limits, we can now come down under the template limits area of the inspector. So we want to use minimum, maximum, and maximum values and make this go from 0 to 0.35. Apply the limits. Now porosity goes from 0 to 0.35 in all the, the wells in our well section. Again, checking the statistics for permeability. Just about 0 to almost 3,000. So you can come click on the permeability log. It's now brought up here. Since this is logarithmic, we can't start at zero, but we can start very close to zero. 0 0.1, make the maximum 3,000. Click apply limits, and now, and now permeability is the same in all the wells. If we want to add color to these logs, we can bring up the tool palette, we need to make sure that the well correlation package is active. If it's not, click on this little icon to the left of the words tool palette. Make sure that well correlation is turned on. This icon right here that says curve fill is the one that we need. We click on that. Then if we want the color from the log to the right side, we click on that side of the log. If we want the color from the log to the left side, we can click on that side. So if we just click over here, now color from the permeability color table comes here into this side of the log track. If we want to color fill in this track that has two logs, we need to bring up the template. This gamma porosity track is the one that has both of them in there. If we click on the track name, 
and come over here to curve filling, we can add a new curve filling. Then down here it says we're going to go from the top of the well to the bottom of the well, from track edge to curve. We actually want to go from one curve to the other curve. We're going to go from the porosity curve to gamma. This area that says fill style positive means that in the track over here, porosity is on the left, gamma is on the right. Fill style negative means that gamma is on the left and porosity is on the right. So now we can make these any color, put lithology patterns in of whatever we want. So here I'm going to put in one lithology pattern down here for fill style negative. I'm going to select a different color for the background and select a different lithology pattern. And we'll select this one. And then we hit when we hit either apply or OK, the fill changes. And so now we have the two colors and the two lithology patterns. There are two methods of adding well tops to our well section. One is to simply go over here to the well tops folder and put a check mark in the box and you can see all the well tops appear in our well section. The second way to do it is to bring up the template. Down here we have borehole markers folder area. We can right click on it, click on well tops. Over here to the right, Patrell lists all the marker collections we have in our project. In this case, we're only there's only one. We pick it, we click the OK button, and now the well tops are put down here on our well section. This squiggly line here means that somebody has gone into the stratigraphy, into the well tops, gone to the BCU, which is what this one is, and made sure that the horizon is erosional instead of conformable, as are all these others here. You notice over here to the left, the name is too large. We cannot see it. There's no way we can move the side. But we can, again, come back into the template. These are the well tops we're going to be working with, so we click on well tops. Come to the symbols and labels tab, and then the symbol and label here need to be made smaller. So click this and change the symbol, for example, from 10 to 7. Change the label size from 10 to 8. And then when we hit apply, now you can see the names and the symbols are smaller here. We can still not see quite all of Top Tarbert, so once again, we can make this just a little bit smaller and come here, click Apply or OK, and then we can see the entire name. 